Hello everybody, I'm Sneaksy Gamer, and welcome back to Fear 2 Project Origin. In the last episode, I realized that it was much easier than I thought it was to defeat Vanek, and now I need to do something. I didn't catch what it said. Get to the telestatic amplifier on Still Island and destroy Alma. Okay. I'm assuming that means we are getting close to the end of the game then. If I've got the objective to destroy Alma now. shot you. I almost shot you, Stokes. Sorry about come that. On, come on. You are Stokes, right? No, I almost shot Keegan. Okay. We're good, Manny. Punch it. I saw what happened to Halper. There was nothing you could have done. Let's take a look at Snake Fist's data. This son of a bitch was true to his word. He gave us more than enough to sink Armacam forever. Assuming we survive long enough. Yeah. That's where the problem lies. Of course. Once again, the chapter ends just after I start the episode. Snake Fist is dead, killed by a replica assassin. His real name was Terry Halford, a staff member working for Genevieve Arsteed on Project Harbinger. Before he died, he urged you to go to Still Island and use the telestatic amplifier there to destroy Alma. I'll skip the metaphysics and try to keep this as simple as possible. Sergeant Beckett, Genevieve Aristide did some nasty things to you back at that medical facility. First came the gene splicing operation to link you to Alma. Then she tricked you into getting into the telestatic attunement chamber, which strengthened the link. That's why Alma's aware of you, and why you're totally pooch screwed unless you can destroy her. Which brings me to the telesthetic amplifier on Still Island. You're not psychically potent enough to resist Alma. We're going to plug you into a device that will crank up your brainwaves. Sadly, the only device that has enough juice for the job is on Still Island. It's inside the old nuclear reactor. Oh, it's gonna go I that easy. The reactor down like 30 or 40 years ago. That must have been when Armacan moved in. According to Snake Fist's data, it's the main testing area for Project Origin. Not How far good. out are we, Manny? 15 minutes if the roads are clear. Holy shit! I'm assuming that means the roads weren't clear. That doesn't sound good.
son of a bitch. Beckett, man that turret and cover us. We need to figure out where we are. Oh boy. kind of turret is this? I like it. Keegan doing Keegan, stop. Seriously. That is a good question. Why aren't they shooting in? What the hell are you doing, Keegan? Good. That's not good. Is he hallucinating or what? That's not good. Why do I have to go after him? Why am I suddenly the crazy wrangler? Yeah, I've got a bad feeling about this. I don't remember what happens, but I do know something bad's gonna happen. Keegan, stop it. Please stop, Keegan. What the fuck? He's just gone? That's not good. Deterioration. Is that referring to Keegan? Because it sure seems like his mind is deteriorating. Maybe my mind is deteriorating. Maybe I'm the one who's going crazy. I don't like those red flashes. Why? Where'd you go? I saw you. What the fuck? Okay, this is weird. I'm thinking deterioration was referring to me. What 
the fuck? Was that Keegan? Was that Keegan that just jumped across like that? Holy shit. That's not normal. Did I just see money? Give me that money. I need money. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Oh, I somewhat remember this. I vaguely remember this. I remember the area. I don't remember what to expect. But I definitely remember this location. doing I don't like these guys Auburn district was linked to military contractor malfeasance I don't know if that's pronounced correctly or not Improper disposal of hazardous materials at a classified facility beneath the Auburn District caused a variety of symptoms reported by area residents over the past 20 years, according to an anonymous source who provided extensive documentation to support his allegations. The source claims that Armacam Technology Corporation suspended operations at the facility almost two decades ago without removing potential contaminants. The facility was briefly reopened earlier this year before being promptly shut down again due to an industrial accident. I wonder who that could have been. I'm assuming that was our friend Snake Fist who told them about that. Yeah, it's probably a good thing that I can't topple that. <laughs> I would have trapped myself. Oh, I could have jumped over it, I suppose, but... hit them directly it takes like three shots to kill those guys right I think that's what it looked like that's what it seemed like anyway okay that doesn't seem good Careful, I can take out five of them. And of course, I promptly miss with a shot after saying that. <laughs> if the shock grenades would stop those guys dead. Ah, I wasn't supposed to go over here. This is a secret. Well, not really a secret, but... That's not where I was meant to go. Am I supposed to go here? Yep. the 
hopes of this. I don't like the looks of that either. Oh, there's one here too. That doesn't look good. That looks like what Alma does to people. Electrical hazard warning. Attention all Metro staff. Until the city sends someone to repair the sewer leak near the Madison Park station, be extremely careful not to step in puddles on the tracks. Aside from the obvious disadvantages of waiting around in raw sewage, you could also be electrocuted. If you need to access the tracks, shut off the breaker switch. Also, make sure no one is on the tracks before turning the power back on. Okay, I have a bad feeling something's going to happen then. So I want to watch out for puddles, or were, was that not actually a warning to me? Was that just kind of information? I don't think so. Keegan's... Something weird's going on with him. Well, sounds like we've got some enemies out here. second this looks familiar this looks like something bad why do I remember something bad here Remembering something distinctly not fun here. And I think you're it. That might be what I was remembering, but I don't know. guys are taking quite a few shots more than they used to. Must be stronger ones or something. Maybe I'm not remembering something bad there. I've played so many games that a lot of places look somewhat similar and I mix games up even so that could be it I could have been thinking of something that looks similar to that in a different game ooh that hurt fuck you That really hurt. Note to self, don't let them shoot stuff near you. Pump room. Why do I feel like I shouldn't trust that sign? Something about that sign just looks off. These signs don't look right. Really? <laughs> no. 
nothing like blowing yourself up. Really? Fuckers are there. Hopefully there's not too many more of them. Pump room is still that way. Why am I going to the pump room? Why do I want to go to the pump room? is in the pump room that I need. What the fuck was that? Okay, something doesn't seem right about this. Keegan, wait. Stop it, you dumbass. Keegan, stop being an idiot. Get back here. What the hell? He literally just went through that doorway. You're not Keegan. Get off. <laughs> okay. Damn. Fuck you, ghosts. Am I supposed to go down there now? I feel like I'm supposed to go down there now. This shit, huh? Didn't I have enough of it in the first part that I ran into these things in? Haven't I seen enough of this? Fuck. Get away from me. Jesus. right there. I don't like this. Where? Damn it, it was right there. this light up like that. How? 
how did he get it out of the tunnel, huh? You really expect me to believe he somehow figured out a way to drive that thing out? I highly doubt that. Highly doubt he was able to get that thing out of the tunnel. What the hell happened there? How did I climb that? needs armor. Attention Metro staff. The extension of Orange Line through Soto and Eastern Auburn has been cancelled. From what we've been able to gather, there's already a tunnel system intersecting that area. Apparently it's some kind of classified government operation, but that's as much as anyone will say. If you are asked about the extension by the public, the official line is that the project has been cancelled due to geological concerns and that the city council is investigating the economical benefits of running the line above ground. Bailey Carver, Director, Fairpoint Metro Transit Authority. Okay, looks like I have to go this way anyways. Okay, well... Keep moving then. Why is the music still going? Ah. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to end this one here actually. So that's it for this episode. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.